All right, I promised somebody on YouTube that I would talk a little bit about this anyways. So now seems as good a time as any. Um, I want to talk about grip and holding the knife. The way that I teach people to hold a knife, whether it's like in a culinary class or somebody that's working for me or, you know, a relative who I see holding the knife really in an awkward, crazy way, is that you want to have stability when you hold a knife. And so really you're holding the knife in two different places and you have 100% control of the knife in either place. So in a pinch grip. So in the pinch grip, this is a 10 inch old hickory. Um, and this is how I would normally hold it. I'm pinching it between my forefinger and my thumb here. And then I have these three fingers wrapped around the handle. Either one of these places, I could have 100% complete control independent of the other one. And it doesn't seem that important, um, may seem like obvious or stupid or whatever, but that means that if this part of the knife gets slippery or this part of the knife gets slippery, you're always thinking about making sure that you're maintaining control in two different places. That's the basis of the pinch grip and why it's effective and why it's safe and why it's powerful and why it's um, less fatiguing than other ways of holding it. Because if you learn to balance the forces of this holding and this holding, you can, you'll just have much more flexibility and much more usefulness and uh, dexterity and strength and able to cut for longer with less fatigue. Um, I think that's my theory anyways, but then how do we adapt this when the knife gets short and our knuckles start hitting? is a question that people often complain about and everybody now wants like 55 millimeter tall knives or whatever. Um, but really you can adapt a pinch grip to any size of knife. Um, if you have a bigger knife, like some of the people were saying, you might find that your pinch grip slides a little bit more forward to give you a little bit more control of it. And you might even put like two fingers on this side or something, but still the same idea. I have complete control um, with both of those grips. I'm gripping the knife in two different ways. Um, and like this is one of my favorite knives. It's a Tosa Nakiri from uh, Hita Tool. It's the handle, it sucks. I've never gotten around to replacing it even though I've had it for like four or five years. Um, but a lot of times when the handle starts falling off, I just get rid of it. And my pinch grip still feels perfectly fine, just like this. Um, and I just adapt it by, you know, basically, but still the same idea. I have complete control here. I have complete control here. Um, so that gives me a lot of power and a lot of strength, dexterity, etc. All right, but what about like shorter knives? Like this knife. I often use this knife to do prep work with. It's a 210 uh, Suji Petty from um, Ashi. Um, and when I adapt my pinch grip to this, I still have it controlled here between my thumb and my forefinger. But now down here is between these two fingertips and the pad of my thumb. So I still have my same pinch grip ergonomics. I still have my control of it in two different places. Um, but I've modified it so that my hand doesn't hit the board. And I'm fast with that. I can go just as fast as, as somebody else can go with a 50 millimeter Giudo. Um, you could even go down to something like this paring knife that has been ground and ground and ground and ground and is almost gone. And same thing. You can control it here with the pinch and you can control it here between these two fingertips and a, and a th thumb pad. And you can do really fast, really controlled board work with a very, very, very short knife. No problems. This is also fine for doing draw cuts. Um, so I have a lot of strength there. Two different ways that I'm gripping it. But I'm able to deal with a very, very short knife. Um, so I guess let's see. I gotta cut up an onion anyways. 
I use this petty. No, I just, I'm holding it in my modified pinch grip. These two fingers over here with the pad of my thumb, the pinky or the pointer finger and thumb here, thumb pad and other two fingers there. So there you go. That's a little explanation of how you can modify your pinch grip to any height of a blade.